Hi folks, hope everybody's okay. Just got a, a few things that I want to share finally. Last video. Um, don't forget you can get me on my website jasonburstpreacher.com You can get me on Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, Teespring, uh, etc. So it's good to be with you. Um, I just want to say a few things that I, I want to clear up and then get on to my main topic which is the meltdown of the UK. Uh, just some side issues. I just want to say that you shouldn't judge uh, groups of people uh, with the same brush. You know, um, if you demonize a group, if you demonize a group, then very often you miss that part of that group, maybe the vast majority are decent people. Okay, um, and so the other day I was in Manchester and I was uh, a, a homeless person got really aggressive with me and threw something, a piece of paper or something in my face, but it was quite vicious. It was very, very aggressive. And at the time, I was talking to about five Muslim youths, one or two from Iraq uh, and other uh, Islamic countries, and they were surrounding me. And we were talking uh, in a friendly manner. And when these this uh, homeless person attacked me, um, they defended me. They 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 really protected me, and they were really kind and really helpful, you know. And I just want to say to people out there that, you know, there was a Muslim user there that that were very respectful and helpful and protected me. So you can't judge everybody the same, you know. Um, people can say disagree with Islam, but uh, for example, Muslim people there are a lot of good Muslim people, and I think it, you know, if you start demonizing groups of people, then it's wrong because you know there might be a bad apple in whatever group it is, but there's the vast majority of people are decent people, you know. Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. You know, be be careful not to judge people, whoever they are. Uh, secondly, uh, some fool uh, wrote, walked past and screamed out I was a racist. Uh, I just want to nip that one in the bud. I'm marrying an African lady, so that's nipped in the bud. Uh, just because I make a few videos on nationalism, uh, it doesn't mean to say you're a racist. You can be proud of your country, proud of your culture and your roots cultural roots and you don't have to be uh, racist and so that's just a silly accusation that I've nipped in the bud there before it even gets off the ground. Uh, I just want to talk briefly about UK meltdown. We are in a meltdown as a country. Our democracy is completely broken. Our education system is broken and we're, we're in a mess. Okay. Um, and, you know, the way we treat our armed forces, taking them to court for when they've served their country. Uh, 17 and a half million people voted for Brexit. The political elites have tried to squash it and almost virtually nearly ruined democracy in this country. Um, sex education, t teaching kids uh, a particular ideological view about sex and not allowing the parents to have the freedom of rights to teach the kids that they feel they should teach what they feel they should teach. Um, we are losing our free speech where anybody who disagrees with the political correct brigade can have the, be silenced. And so we're in a meltdown as a, as a, as a British country. The way uh, the many in the country have mocked Donald Trump shows you that we don't lack any gravitas anymore. We 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 just we just don't know what we're doing as a country. You know, we're rod rudderless. We 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 lack any uh, strong leadership. You know, and in the midst of that, you can get frustrated and you wonder, well, how do we deal with things? And you know, and I think that there's a patriot movement. I'm quite well known amongst the patriot movement. I've been told by uh, a patriot, uh, but I just want to say that 
you know, leaders in the Patriot movement can fail and make mistakes. And the other thing about the Patriot movement is where is it going? Will it be led in the future in a, in a right way? Because if it's not based on Christian values, if it's not based on godliness, it will end up uh, being ugly. It won't achieve fruits of goodness and righteousness if it's not rooted in, in Christian values and, and Christian foundation. And so for me, I've been wondering, well, how do you deal with this? And a couple of thoughts that have come to my mind. Romans chapter 12, it says, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may be able to perfect the will of God. And I think you won't be able to understand the times or deal with the times in the nation, in our UK country, or any country. You won't be able to understand what's going on or how to deal with the situation unless your mind's renewed in the Word of God. All these issues about sex education in the schools, about gay rights, political correctness, Islam, uh, all these issues, the Patriot Movement, the Nationalist, the Populist Movements, all these issues, Brexit, etc., you won't be able to deal with them unless you renew your mind in this. This is the Word of God. And it's, we, we can either deal with these things in a carnal way, which is hatred and anger. Or we can deal with it in a spiritual way, which is being full of God and the Holy Spirit, walking in love, walking in humility, walking in the things of God. And so I would encourage people in the, in the meltdown of the UK at the moment is to get into your Bible and allow it to renew your mind. Just soak your mind in this. And I guarantee in the next few weeks and months, you'll have a complete dis a complete different perspective on the situation you'll see things that you've not seen before and you'll realize how dangerous our country has fallen into the spiritual morass that it has and how on a knife edge it is under the wrath of god if it doesn't pull up soon so please please if you want to really understand the times if you really want to deal with the issues of the time get yourself a bible and start to read it and ask god to spiritually build you up and to renew your mind in the Bible. It's so imperative that you get into your Bible and allow it to speak to you at, concerning the times and to teach you. And then, you know, I've made a few political videos here and there and I'm not political, but I just felt over the years I felt I should say something. But the answer is in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of the world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereon with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And it's putting your spiritual armour on. I've talked to quite a few people over the last few weeks about the state of the nation. And what comes to my mind is, where is your mind based? What is it rooted on? Is it rooted on your opinions? Is it rooted upon the things that you know? If it is, you're reacting to the times carnally, from a carnal perspective, and you won't be able to see the issues spiritually before you. You'll be spiritually blind, and you'll be... Uh, manipulated and fed fake news by the devil and you'll be blinded and you won't be able to understand fully the moral, political, social, economic all the various views that are up uh, in the political and moral sphere today and national life you won't be able to understand what's going on or how to deal with it 
But if your foundation is the Bible, if you read your Bible and study your Bible, go to my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. Go to um, um, <clears throat> Sermon Index and listen to sermons there or to Sermon Audio or to Monogism. Uh, Monogism has a lot of resources. Sermon Audio. Uh, if you want to listen to a, a Christian apologist, Google Ravi Zacharias. Ravi Zacharias, Christian apologist. If you want to listen to sermons and be built up in the Word of God, Google the Banner of Truth Conference, Youth Conference, the Banner of Truth Ministers Conference, or go to... Um, uh, there's so many uh, good sites, but Desiring God Ministries, go there, or Grace to You, uh, go there, John Piper, John MacArthur, or Legionnaire Ministries by R. C. Sproul, he's recently died. And get yourself built up in the Word of God. Or go to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones Recording Trust. Or go to Heart Cry Ministries by uh, Paul Washer. Uh, or albehonest.com. Albehonest.com is a really good site if you want to learn about Christianity. And, and get yourself renewed in the Bible and in the Gospel that Christ died for you. And understand that Jesus died and rose again. That there's a new heaven and a new earth going to be created. That we're to follow the Lord now and serve Him now. And, and get... Become a disciple of the Lord. Read the Bible and find a church where they teach the Bible and, and preach the gospel and stand for biblical truth. These are the only ways that you're going to stand, my friend. You can't stand on this age, in these times, purely on nationalism, without a spiritual foundation. You can't stand in these times on ethical issues like teaching, should we teach children gay rights or transgender? You can't stand on these issues and, and, and understand them properly unless you have a spiritual foundation and it's the Bible that's your foundation it's your Bible that's your moral compass it's your Bible that will guide and teach you so please my, my answer to the times that we're living in into the meltdown of the UK is to get into your Bible get into your Bible it's the word of God that we need today Get into it and feed on it. Read it daily. Study it daily. Have a daily reading plan. Download Murray McShane's daily reading plan. And read a chapter, a couple of chapters a day. And be blessed in the word of God. And see how your mind will begin to change. How your perspective will begin to change. And how you deal with the age will begin to change. Because this book is spiritual dynamite. Uh, Queen Victoria loved this book, uh, Abraham Lincoln loved this book, and, and Gladstone, Prime Minister Gladstone loved this book. So get into the book and, and, and watch it change your life. God bless you.